presentation. It says we have this dream of a, uh, a big project that all of us will be uh, participating in. Jesus told us in the 12th chapter of Luke, for those whom much has been given, more is required. Fellow alumni, we must give out of gratitude all that we can give to bring about the transformation of CPU, and most of all, with the grace of God, we can bring about the next level of excellence for the sake of our country and God's glory. I've been urging all alumni in any way they can to support initiatives such as scholarship programs that will bring the kind of students who have the potential to lead and serve our country to come to CPU regardless of their ability to pay. To provide quality facilities in which to learn and live, offer technology that will facilitate learning and communication. We need to provide better spiritual experience for our faculty, staff, and students. The university must produce graduates who have gained important knowledge in order to become productive members of society. And also, foremost of all, graduates who are strong in their Christian faith a model for others to emulate. We must do this because our country and the world need CPU graduates. In behalf of the CPU Alumni Association Incorporated, the mother of all our alumni associations, I would like to welcome and congratulate the members of the CPU High School Class 58 and their family members who are here tonight for celebrating the 50th class of union. And we in the CPU Alumni Association will only be too willing to assist you in this activity as well as in the other activities of your class. So again, congratulations on your 50th class of union and I hope that you enjoy yourself as well as the rest of your activities. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. God bless us. Thank you.